Hello there, it is I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another video. Today, Airplane, a movie reaction. So yeah, I'm excited about this. I've never seen it, I don't know anything about it, I've never watched a trailer, but a lot of people have asked me to do a reaction to it, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, if you're new here, of course, drop a like and subscribe, and if you enjoy this, please comment down below a movie or TV show reaction you would like to see. Um, so yeah. Let's just get this now and have some fun. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> Airplane! Hello, we'd like you to have this flower from the Religious Consciousness Church. Would you care to make a donation? No, but thank you anyway. <laughs> Don't tell me which zone is for stopping and which... <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Did he just put the meter on? <laughs> hey, Larry, where's the forklift? Forklift! It's over there by the baggage water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Don't you feel anything for me at all anymore? It takes so many things to make love last. What a pisser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a pisser. Modern spoon. Oh, wait. <laughs> it says whacking material. <laughs> uh, this is Dr. Brody at the Mayo Clinic. There's a passenger on your Chicago flight 209 or a little girl named Lisa Day. Mayo? Route to Minneapolis. I want you to make sure that she's kept in a reclined position. Continuous watch is kept on her IV. Also, it's very important. I'd like one ticket to Chicago. No baggage. <laughs> Smoking on a plane. Yeah. Have a nice trip. Oh. <laughs> Great matter back, a lot of performers down. I take TCB in, man. Hey, you know what they say. See a broad to get that booty at him. <laughs> Leg her down or smack him, yak him. Cold got to be. Exactly, yeah. That's what I thought as well. Nervous? Yes. First time. No, I've been nervous lots of times. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, relax and enjoy your flight. Would you like something to read? Do you have anything light? Oh. How about this leaflet? Famous <laughs> Jewish sports <laughs> legends. Yes, thank you. That's very light. Talked, danced. I never wanted it to end. I guess I still don't. But enough about me. I hope this hasn't been boring for you. It's just that whenever I start to talk about Elaine, I get so carried away. I lose all track of time. Oh, shit. Like, excuse me. I happen to be passing. I thought you might like some coffee. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you. Well, isn't he the creepiest child in the plane? Cream? No, thank you. I take it black. Like my man. <laughs> <laughs> You've been pied, lad. Oh, God. Come on up here. You can see better. Joy, we have something here for our special visitors. Would you like to have it? Thank you. Thanks a lot. Sure. You ever been in a cockpit before? No, sir, I've never been up in a plane before. Sam? Have you ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> Wait, what? Come, come, go back, please. I got a telegram from headquarters today. Headquarters? What is it? Well, it's the big building where generals meet. <laughs> hey, Stryker, how about a break? I'm getting tired. Yeah, all right. Take five. <laughs> what 
either of you like another cup of coffee? I will, but Jim won't. I think I will have another cup of coffee. Jim never has a second cup of coffee at home. Maybe he's cheating. That's what the whole thing. <laughs> could I borrow your guitar? I thought maybe I could cheer her up. Oh, of course. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> and they told me again and again. <laughs> there is only one sea. <laughs> Oh, it's ridiculous. At first, they didn't know what to think of us, but soon we gained their trust. <laughs> oh, God. It was at that moment that I first realized Elaine had doubts about our relationship. And that, as much as anything else, led to my <laughs> drinking problem. <laughs> oh man, that is one hundred percent a drinking problem. Like if you can't put it in your face. You know, I really couldn't blame Elaine. <laughs> Joey, have you ever been in a in a Turkish prison? <laughs> oh. What is with the weird questions for this kid? Like. Jim never vomits at home. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to wake you. I'm just looking for a doctor. There's nothing to worry about. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry I have to wake you. Are you a doctor? That's right. We have... <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what gave it away. You'd better tell the captain. We've got to land as soon as we can. This woman has to be gotten to a hospital. A hospital? What is it? It's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. <laughs> Tell the captain I must speak to him. Certainly. <sighs> oh, shit. Did he just die? Captain, how soon can you land? I can't tell. You can tell me I'm a doctor. No, I mean, I'm just not sure. Or can't you take a guess? Well, not for another two hours. You can't take a guess for another two hours? No, no, no. I mean, we can't land for another two hours. <laughs> Even I thought, what? You can't guess for two hours? Like, my stupid brain. This is Captain Over speaking. Been a little bumpy up here, but we'll be past it in a few Captain minutes. Captain Over, that's ridiculous. Uh, a I love it, though. Interest. We're now flying over Hoover Dam. <laughs> and a little later on, we'll pass you south of Grand Canyon. Meanwhile, relax and enjoy your flight, okay? Nothing's going on. It's all good. Well, the doctor will be with you in just a moment. Uh, one thing, do you know what he had for dinner? Yes, of course. We both had fish. Why? Oh, it, it's nothing to be alarmed about. We'll be back to you very quickly. <laughs> yeah, don't fall, love. It's over. Severe muscle spasms, followed <laughs> by the inevitable drooling. It is oh. accompanied by uncontrollable flatulence. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, they did it! Autopilot saves the day! This film is absolutely crazy. I am absolutely enjoying it. It's so funny. It's ridiculous, and it's definitely a product of its time because you couldn't make a movie like this now. That pilot looks a lot like Nick Cage. No, wait, 34,000. What the hell's going on up there? What the hell's going on there, mate? <laughs> I get all those people to a hospital quickly. I can't even be sure of saving their lives. Now, is there anyone on board who can land this plane? I uh, still got his drinking problem. <laughs> That's a costly taxi. Keep him at 24,000. No, feet. One of the passengers is going to land that plane. Is that possible? Possible. It's 100 to one shot. I know this guy. <laughs> He'll be all right. 
I've got to get out of here. I've got to get out of here. <laughs> Where are you going? Get a hold of yourself. Please let me handle this. You gonna jump out? <laughs> Oh, come on. That's the whole story there, Rex. Everything we know. All right, Steve, let's face a few facts. Did you know I threw this man's striker during the war? He's going to have enough on his mind about... This movie is ridiculous. I mean, it reminds us, obviously, this is before the um, scary movie. That striker was a top-notch squadron. But a long time ago. it has that vibe. This is obviously the original... I want you to get on the horn and talk that ...kind of parody down. movie. I took the wrong week to quit drinking. <laughs> but did you though? Did you? Stryker, you listen, you listen close. Flying a plane is no different than riding a bicycle. Just a lot harder to put baseball cards in the spokes. <laughs> it's not it's it's hard out, but it's not impossible. That's a good thing. The most important thing now is that you remain calm. There's no reason to panic. Now it is true that one of the crew members is ill. Slightly ill. But the other two pilots are just fine. They're at the controls flying the plane. I'm like 30% sure he's not telling the truth. It's kind of suspicious. But if you, no if you haven't noticed, his nose was growing a little bit. Would you tell him to just relax and I'll be back as soon as I can with some medicine? Just hang loose blood. She's gonna catch up on the rebound on the med side. What it is, big mama. My mama didn't raise no dummies. I duck a rap. Cut me some slack, Jeff. It's a cutting thing. Say, 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 Chomp don't wanna help. Chomp don't get the help. I've no idea what that's saying, but yeah, okay, cool. Johnny, what can you make out of this? This? Well, I can make a tap. Or a brooch. I feel like that would be, that would be me. How you doing, honey? Jack, I'm so hot, I'm burning up. Turn on some air. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, she'll probably complain. She's too cold now. Can't take much more of this. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines. <laughs> you keep saying you've quit stuff, and then you take the stuff. I don't think you've quit, mate. Would you like a little whiskey, man? Certainly not. <laughs> yeah, whiskey's bad for you. I'm scared. I've never been so scared. Besides, I'm 26 and I'm not married. And we're going to make it. You've got to believe that. Dr. Romack. Do you have any idea when we'll be landing? Pretty soon. How are you bearing up? Well, to be honest, I've never been so scared. But at least I have a husband. <laughs> oh, you'll be fine. I'll marry you. What happened, Ted? What went wrong? The oil pressure. I forgot to check the oil pressure. When Kramer hears about this, the ship's gonna hit the fan. <laughs> And then it did, yeah. It actually, it actually hit the fan. Striker, you know what a landing like this means you more than anybody. I'm ordering you to stay up there. No dice, Chicago. I'm giving the orders and we're coming in. I guess the foot's on the other hand now, isn't it, Kramer? <laughs> yes. We're going to the tower. The tower? The tower? Rapunzel! Rapunzel! <laughs> Yeah, I like that character. He's really good. Get that finger out of your ear. You don't know where that finger's been. Oh! Sniffing your finger, you animal. Steve, I want every light you can get poured onto that field. We're done right now. I love how literal everything in this movie is. It's so ridiculous, but also amazing. Too quiet. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Problem solved. He's coming right at us! <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> well, that's problem solved, isn't it? I said I'd stop doing this, I almost did it, and then I did it anyway. Gate nine. Oh god, that's how I look when I get asked about my internet search history. <laughs> I just want to tell you both, good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs> Mate, it's job's done. Loneliness, that's the bottom line. I was never happy as a child. Christmas, Ted, what does that mean to you? That means a living hell. I always like to fall in the mud and get kicked in the head by an iron boot. Of course you don't. No one does. That never happens. But sorry, Ted. That's a dumb question. Skip that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he's just sharing his emotions, his feelings, and there's no one there to listen. Story of my life. Does she know about the blowing thing, though? Wow. Uh, well, um, yeah. I really enjoyed this movie. It was insane. Uh, everything was very literal, wasn't it? And I mean that in the best way, like the shit hitting the fan and stuff like that. But yeah, it was genuinely crazy. Uh, one of the jokes I think that could have come back to is the taxi joke at the very end. It's the guy and it's just racked up like three grand's worth of uh, of fare and he's, st and he's still in the, in the, in the car, of course. Um, yeah, it was really, really good. I really enjoyed it, uh, and I'm glad that I was recommended it. And I got recommended this a lot. Um, there's some uh, actors that I recognise. Leslie Nielsen. I think I've seen him in um, Naked Gun, one of them. I might be incorrect. It might be something else. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, overall, really, really funny. Super, super funny film. And... I'm really glad I got it recommended it. Thank you as ever for coming out. If you're new, please do um, leave a like and subscribe. And of course, recommend me other films. Um, and yeah, I will see you all again very soon for another reaction.